Hey, welcome back to Hardly Tech. Today we'll be finishing up the ray tracing comparison between the RTX 2080 Super and the RTX 3060 Ti at 4K. Just how many Ks can we fit in here? Well, apparently only four. Here are the specs for the 2080 Super. And here are the specs for the 3060 Ti. Here are the specs for the test bench, same as usual. And today's games are the same as the previous two videos. Dirt 5, Doom Eternal, Metro Exodus Enhanced, Resident Evil Village, and Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah man, this baby right here, she can do 0 to 60 in 3.4 minutes. Dirt 5 is set to ultra high, ray trace shadows on of course, and variable rate shading is off. Here in Dirt 5 we see that in comparable scenes, the 2080 Super generally holds about a 1 to 2 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti. We also see that just like the previous two runs at 1440p and 1080p, the 2080 Super is using about one extra gigabyte of system RAM, is drawing about 50 extra watts on the GPU, and is pulling about 10 watts less for the CPU. Overall, considering that this test is completely maxed out, I'd say both cards are holding up pretty well. If you're aiming for 60 frames per second, you can always turn settings down from ultra high to high and have a great experience and great ray tracing. In Doom Eternal, ray tracing is on of course, DLSS is off, 
All settings on Ultra Nightmare except for texture pool size, which is set to Ultra. Now this one I was not expecting. I reran this test four times. I checked all my settings each time. The 2080 Super just gets its butt kicked. The 2080 Super maintains between 30 and 40 frames per second for most of this test. The 3060 Ti, however, is generally between 50 and 60 FPS. Maxed settings. Oddly, we can see that even though the 2080 Super is at 99% usage, it's only pulling about 170 to 200 watts. It is, however, maintaining clock speed and memory speed, so I'm not really sure what's causing this. Maybe it's just an inefficiency with first-gen touring running 4K on this card in this game. In any case, the 3060 Ti takes home a very large victory in this game. <laughs> Metro Exodus? More like Metro... Exodus. Here in Metro Exodus, quality is set to extreme, motion blur low, ray tracing ultra, reflections ray traced, VRS off, hair works, and physics on. Metro Exodus returns us to form for both of these cards. The 2080 Super and the 3060 Ti are within 1 to 2 frames per second of each other for the entire run. With DLSS off, both of these cards are hovering at or just above 30 frames per second. Turning DLSS on to quality brings both of these cards from about 47 to 53 FPS. Not a bad jump. Changing DLSS from quality to balanced brings both of these cards from about 56 to 65 frames per second. Again, not too bad of a jump. We can also see that the 2080 Super is back to its full power draw, thankfully, and the 2080 Super is once again pulling about an extra 1 gigabyte of system memory. If you think Lady Dimitrescu is frightening, you just wait until you get into that basement. You'll know it when you see it. Here in Resident Evil Village, all settings are set to their maximum, variable rate shading off, and film grain off. Here in the village portion of Resident Weevil Village, the 2080 Super and the 3060 Ti are basically running the same frame rate once again. At best, the 2080 Super maintains a 1 FPS lead. Inside Castle Demitresque, we can see that, like the 1440p ray tracing test, the 2080 Super maintains a very slight lead over the 3060 Ti in the range of about 2 to 3 frames per second. And this is another test where we can see that the 2080 Ti. Super is using about an extra half to one full gigabyte of system RAM. Oh! Ah crap, my cyber eye fell out. Ah, where is it? Ah! Here in Cyberpunk, all main settings are set to their maximum, ray trace reflections and shadows on, ray trace lighting set to ultra, and DLSS set to balanced. No way. I'm a tech, not a miracle. For our final test, here in Cyberpunk, we can see that the 2080 Super is leading the 3060 Ti anywhere from 2 to 5 frames per second on average. We can also see that the 3060 Ti is using about an extra 2 to 2.5 gigabytes of system RAM. 
and unlike tests like Dirt 5 that are only using about 6 gigabytes of GPU memory here in Cyberpunk, both are nearly at their limit. Alright, 4K testing with ray tracing is done, out of the way, finished, finito! And I think we have a pretty clear picture of what these cards are capable of. And really none of my thoughts have changed. If you've got a 2080 or 2080 Super, heck, even a 2070 Super, I think you'd be just fine keeping what you have. You'd probably be better served by getting something like a 3070 or above. All in all, outliers aside, like Doom Eternal at 4K, these cards are very similar in performance, both in rasterized and ray tracing gaming. I think the 3060 Ti is a good value for anybody looking for an upgrade from entry-level gaming, and since Newegg's shuffle prices are starting to finally come a bit closer to MSRP, I think this is a good recommendation. In any case, happy gaming everybody. Enjoy what you've got. If you're able to upgrade, go for it. Tell me about your systems or what you're looking forward to in tech coming up. I'm excited about Intel's new CPUs, and I'm very excited about AMD's next line of CPUs coming out. I hope AMD can once again topple the Intel kingdom. I'm also very much looking forward to seeing what DDR5 is capable of as it matures over the next few years. If you've enjoyed this series of videos, and if you've found the information in them useful, consider hitting that like and giving a sub scribble. Your support really does make a world of difference and will help this channel grow, which in turn means more time dedicated to testing and better access to more hardware and software for that testing, which is what I love about doing this. Finding those little differences between each piece of hardware and seeing what's best for your money or just to see what each piece of hardware is capable of. All right, enough word vomit. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.